this, this workshop is centered around uh, uh, the possibilities, uh, how this knowledge can save the future. We need to help very fragile coastal and uh, small island communities, indigenous communities and states. It is, it is a, the, the matter of their cultural ex existence. The predicted climate change at Narran, less rainfall, longer and more severe droughts, more extreme heat waves, higher risk of frost in winter, exacerbated damage to country from extreme weather events, also flora and fauna diversity loss and intergenerational cultural genocide. Attachment to the land, the environment, and the Moana is something that no one can take away from me. My indigenous connection to my peoples and my land is significant. Some people continue to deny the fact that climate change is real, and I would like to challenge them to come and stay with me in Tuvalu for a few weeks to experience the reality of life that we are going through in Tuvalu. We are being labeled by the international community as climate refugees. Why do we have to be called climate refugees for something that we did not cause? Internal displacement refers to those who are forced to relocate further inland to ensure their survival and security. They are being detached from their ancestral lands. The question is, how far or further they need to move inland, knowing that our island are just strips of land? In Makatu, uh, where my family is based, uh, there was a storm surge saw the, um, the ka'iwi on a, on a cliff actually be washed away and the, and the bones tumbled down and so we had to obviously put a rahui, a um, traditional restriction on the area until we could gather all the ka'iwi and, and have the bones reburied. And then you've got the more sort of intangible elements, so the traditional cultural practices to so the impact on our kaimoana. A few villages back at home that have relocated, it wasn't easy took a long um, tug of war with government and the communities themselves. Um, there was a lot of loss in heritage, culture, their knowledge, and also, like my colleague mentioned, the connection to their burial grounds and ancestors. It is culturally significant that we bury the placenta in the land and plant a coconut tree on it. In, in our language, placenta is a fanua, which literally means land. So when we bury the placenta, it signifies that we have that attachment to the land. That's why it's, it, it's difficult for us just to get up and go. 